Hi, it's Travis from Brain Pulp TV, and again, I hope you're having a Merry Christmas. Once again, we're taking a bit of a lighter schedule throughout December, so the Mana Caves will return in January, and in the meantime, I thought I'd share some more toys and some more toy information with you. Uh, so my mom, now that she's uh, retired and everything, she tends to go down to Mexico around Christmas, and she, she buys these Mexican toys for my, for my daughter. Now, I grew up in Canada, and when you buy stuff, it's usually from a store. People are wearing smocks or uniforms, some, something like that. But in Mexico, you buy a lot of things off the beach. And my mom loves to buy her these toys. She bought her this neat-looking donkey. He's, he's blue and black. He's, he does look a little evil. I don't know if you get the full effect there. but uh, And she also got her this really neat uh, mermaid, who is awesome. My daughter loved this mermaid. She wouldn't put it down for a week. A little chesty, but by far the most bizarre toy my mom ever got for my daughter from the beach of Mexico has got to be the Crimson Blood Red Monkey. Now, I'm not a primatologist. I don't think that applies. I don't think monkeys are primate. I'm not a monkey expert, but I've never known a blood red monkey whose skin or fur so resembled the crimson shade of oxygenated blood. Uh, the weirdest thing with this monkey is you can kind of see the outline there of something plastic in it. So when my mom gave this to my daughter, I instantly thought that she had accidentally smuggled drugs back in the country and given them to my daughter. Uh, that's not the case. I'm, I fully admit no, I was jumped the gun. was a little paranoid on that one. But uh, the truth was almost a little bit worse. The truth was it was a, a little box that you press to activate the monkey. I'll try to do that right now. So yeah, you do that and that happens. The, the monkey screams and its eyes light up red. Now it took us a long time to figure out what was happening because at first the battery seemed to be dead. I don't know if it was the humidity in Mexico, but it, it didn't seem to work all that much at first, and we didn't know, which kind of propagated my theory about it being drugs in there. But as time went on, the batteries got better in it. We still haven't replaced them because there was no way to get into them. But the screaming the monkey does was really quiet at first, so we didn't know what was going on. And as the battery, for lack of a better word, healed, it got louder and louder and louder. So there you go, there are some toys my mom has gotten for my daughter off the beach in Mexico. They are they're very unique, and my daughter, she loves them. I'm a little bit scared of the monkey personally, but that's just kind of the guy I am. Blood red monkeys scare me. Thanks for watching, I hope you're having an excellent holiday season. We'll see you soon.